a big key part of what we do at SEED is storytelling collection and preservation. And the reason we do this is we want to be able to tell stories by us for us in order to create that narrative change work. Um, within the project, we really wanted to work on um, creating a creative and holistic healing atmosphere for our elders because interaction with arts and our interaction with healing spaces that are um, outside of, you know, medical professionalism are very rare. And so being able to offer this opportunity um, was really great. So throughout the project, we worked with 17 story collectors, a cohort of young folks who were able to kind of learn the ins and outs of story collection work, um, then brought their elders to the story collection dinners and workshops. And the reason we pivoted to this model is because at first we wanted to do direct work with our elders and um, bringing them into programming, but we know that our elders are not comfortable in these spaces, that they do not have experience or the language necessarily um, to do things like story collection or to understand the arts publication. And so bridging that gap and building that trust um, was really important to us. So by using younger members of their family and collaborating them and training with them, we were able not only to build that trust with our elder participants, but create an aspect of intergenerational collaboration that was really beautiful. Um, some of our younger participants noted that, you know, there were things their elders were opening up about that they had never heard of before, um, aspects of their childhood that were really um, interesting and fun that were outside of the actual like war and trauma that they normally discussed.